Hello biology scholars and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the cell cycle. Even though that's a mess, that's a why. So, a lot of people when they hear the word or words cell cycle they think oh well that's when the cell divides. And that's true. But what's important to note and what a lot of students forget is that cell division is just one part of the cell's life cycle. So if we think about this circle of life, right? That's a messed up circle, but it's a circle of life. For cell division, time-wise, we're gonna spend very minimal time in it. And what that means is that if this represents a cell's full life, this is like a pie chart, this is 100%, and we're looking at, okay, what part of it is gonna be in cell division? We're looking at something like Well, maybe a little bit more, but something like this. Honestly, that's about 10% of the time. So a cell is only dividing 10% of its cycle. We have to also remember that cells are responsible for a lot of other things. Cells, just like us, have to grow and develop. So we don't spend all of our time making more of ourselves and having children, a lot of your life is not having children. Then we have to remember that cells are also specialized to carry out very specific functions. For example, your liver cell cannot spend all of its time worried about making more liver cells. It has to help detoxify. It has to do what the liver is supposed to do, otherwise your liver would just be the brown organ that sits there. Cells can't just worry about dividing and making more of themselves. I mean, that is a part of it, clearly. We have a part in our pie chart here, but it's not going to be the only part. Remember that all living things are made of cells, and all cells have to come from cells. Life comes from life. That's the idea of biogenesis that we talked about earlier. When a cell is dividing, it's reproducing. So we have two types of cellular reproduction to consider. And they look somewhat similar in words, but as you'll find out in later videos, they do not look similar when you sketch them out. But first one you're probably more familiar with. The first one is mitosis, and mitosis is a form of asexual reproduction. What that means is you're going from one parent to two identical offspring called the daughter cells. In addition to mitosis, we also have a second option, a second type of cellular reproduction, and that is meiosis. That is our sexual form of reproduction. Our genetic information is coming from multiple sources. We can't just take one mom cell and split it into two daughter cells. You're gonna have to get genetic information, not just from yourself, you're gonna have to find it elsewhere too. But even though there are two types of cellular reproduction involved here, and two types we must learn, What's important to remember is that both of these, does not matter which one you look at, both of them pass genetic material. And when you see genetic material, you can think DNA. Both of them are gonna pass genetic material or DNA to their offspring. So regardless of the type, whether we have asexual reproduction or sexual reproduction, both have the same sort of end goal. Genetic information in the form of DNA is going to be passed to offspring. 